Righto, Paul. Here's your ramp. We've got the um, MRF 458s all nicely mounted down there with um, cap screws. Everything's mounted down there with cap screws. There's your uh, modification for your SSB delay and your bias switching there. I've decided to leave the original bias circuit in there because it works quite well. Um, just being driven with a little old JV at the moment. And uh, on, this is on high power. King on a 250 watt slug. So let's put in a kilowatt slug and see what happens. Okay, we're on the 1000 watt slug now. Uh, bottom scale is um, 20, 40, 60, which is 200, 400, 600, 800. Okay, over 300 watts. Now peaking on about 320, which is what I sort of guesstimated, so that's great. Harlow 1, 2, that's nice and rounded. Harlow 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Harlow. Uh, yeah, that's um, good. That's, uh, yeah, 300 watts or so peak envelope power out of that. Yeah, lovely. That's where I'm just doing the sense from that uh, coil there. And you can hear the uh, relay clicking, hopefully, on uh, SSB delay. Might need a little bit bigger, I don't know. But actually, no, I think that's pretty good. So just another test, we'll go on low power. Um, hundred watts on low, go to medium, probably about 150. Bit over. And on high, of course, the whole top tamale. Bang, yeah, so there you go. Lovely, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And it's nice and clean too, which I'm very, very happy with.